everybody, today's video I thought it'd be really fun since we've been learning so much about the alphabet and letters and numbers. I thought it'd be really fun to read a story called Alphabet Boats. So let's pop on our listening ears, put in our watching eyes, and catch your bubbles. All right, set sail and learn the ABCs with the boat for each letter. Raise the anchor, grab the oars, chart a course to distant shores, cast off, cast off, set sail, splash, alphabet boats. A is for airboat, its flat home skins glade and shoal. B is for barge, hauling freight such as coal. Look at the little frogs with the A on their tongues and then the A for an alligator. C is for catamaran with stability and speed. D is for dory, cast a line where fish feed. See if you can spot the letters on the page. We have our C right here. And our Ds are on our fishing lines. Good job. E is for electric boat, solar power to take a trip. F is for fire boat, fighting fires on shore and ship. Again, let's look for our E's. Point to them when you say them. Good. And let's look for the letter F. Point to it when you say it. Good job, it's right here on the bar. G is for gondola, cruise the Grand Canal, propelled by oar. H is for houseboat, a motorized home to move or moor. Let's look for our G's and our H's. When you see your H and your G, point to the screen. Good job. I is for ice boat, race along. On runners or skis. J is for jet boat. It maneuvers with ease. Let's look for our I and our J. Good job. Our I is up here and our J is right there. K is for kayak. Long and narrow to move faster. L is for lifeboat. Rescue in case of disaster. All right, let's look for our K, and let's look for our L. Good job, there's our K, and then here's our L's. M is for motorboat, a high-speed thrill ride. N is for narrowboat, just seven feet wide. So for our M and our N. There's our M, and then there's our N. O is for outrigger canoe, with support float on the side. P is for punt, wield a pole, and gently glide. Let's look for our O. Okay, there's a couple O's. We Actually, we have three. We have one of the flowers on the canoe, and the bird is holding one. P is for punt, wield a pole, and gently glide. Look for some P's on this page. See one on the wall. And then on the dog's neck right there, there's a small P and there's one on the boat. <clears throat> Good job. Q is for Q-boat, an armed merchant ship. R is for racing shell, row and coast at a clip. Let's look for our Q's. I see Q's in the bubbles. And do we see more Q's on the page? Okay, and then R is for racing shell. Let's look, we see our R's right here. Good job. S is for submarine, patrolling under the ocean. T is for tugboat, assisting vessels with motion. I see a bunch of S's and T's on this page. So we have some S's right here on the submarine. Treasure chest. We have T's over here. Good job, T's up here. Good job, guys. <clears throat> U is for Umayak. Umayak. Used for migration and trade. V is for a very slender vessel cutting through waves like a blade. Let's look for our U. The little polar bears holding the U's in their mouth. Good job. And then V's. You can see the V. They make the V in the water here. Over in the corner, you can see the V. Good job. W is for water taxi, commute or tour, boats to hail. 
X is for X boot to teach beginners to sail. So we look at our W. We have ones right here in their mouth. Seagulls, there's one up on the building. Oh, I see W's right here too on the fence. And then our X, we see an X on the boat. There's X's right here on the buoy. Good job. Y is for yacht, private, elegant, and vast. Z is for Zebek, a merchant ship, light and fast. See, we see our Ys. We see tons of Ys in the water, right? All different colors. There's Ys up here on the ship. Let's look for Zs. Do you see any Zs on the beach? Good, I see some right over here, right by the whale. Good job. Traveling far from shore to sea, boats work hard from A to Z. Good job. And then on this page, it kind of talks about all different types of boats that we talked about. Um, so you can take some time to look over that if you wanted. Um, you guys did a really good job. I encourage you guys to go back throughout this video to look for hidden letters. I know there are a ton of hidden letters throughout this book. It's pretty cool. Um, so I encourage you guys to take a ton of time, go back, look for some letters. Um, again, when you guys are done reading this, if you could draw a picture of your favorite part of the story and add it to your work folder. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good day.